Welcome to the show both feared and revered by Man and Beast, the Helios blog. Today, Bradley Martin confronts Sneeko and gets slapped. Here we go. The reason she's alone is because she's difficult. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Women fuck men they respect. All the women who say things like, I'm strong, independent, I don't need no man, like, y'all impress me. Women just gaslight each other and say what they want to hear. Hundred percent. I don't think anyone's born. That. I don't think anyone's born gay. I mean, I, I can let people could. Sure, they they will do what they want to do. Do I think it's right? No. Do you want your son to be gay? No, you don't. I I know the answer is no, but you're gonna be right now, like yeah. Whoa, bro. Nah, bro, like, like I I you know you know <laughs> I know I I would love for him to be like fucking me, like a dude. normal, but a dude, me. But I don't give a. But if he was gay, listen, say normal. But if he said if he said he wanted to like chop his dick off, I'd be like, hold on, dude. No, like just wait it out. Wait it out. Wait it out. See how you really feel. Like, because deep down, you want to have a norm. I'm tired of us using these words like cis and all this stuff. Just say normal. I ne First of all, I've never used that word in my life. Cis? I've never used that word ever, right. ever, period. But you, you, would want, you don't want your son to be gay because you know that it's deviant. You know that it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't... I like there's a whole month we're celebrating men putting their penises in men's buttholes. Okay, like, it, you know how weird that's, it is. That's that's, that's, that's what Pride okay. Month is, bro. But I'm I, proud to okay. put a penis in a Hold man's on. butt. What the? Why are we celebrating bro. this for a month? Bro. Why celebrate family for a bro. month? The creation of children. The reason God made us. The I highest mean, form of human achievement. I, Instead, there's a month celebration for okay. poopy dick. Okay, relax. poopy dick, Brad. Relax, relax dude. Dude, I think. Look at. I listen. That's what what's going on. Like, I, it's it's a middle ground. It got, conversation. No, no, no. It's not middle ground. It just got too far. Okay. Dude, it got too far. What did I say? Those two. Those No, no, not you. No, I'm saying the whole the oh. whole thing just went to, like, dude. I don't think there's anything wrong with gay. I don't, man. <laughs> I don't. It's it's. And I think the pride thing that's been around for how long? You know how long? Thirty years, I think. I don't know. I mean, because it's not just the now thing. That's why. So when I hear you talk about it that way, I get it. But at the same time, like it's not just like well, it's, it's one been around for a while. But now I, it's getting interesting. Now it's getting point. rainbow flags on the lawn, trannies flapping their titties next to the president. Like it's it's next. Bro, it's it, you can't even like I can't I, even watch TV anymore. I thought that was fake. I can't, it's not. It's 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 unreal. It's the South Park episode. It yeah. and we're just talking about it. Oh, I don't know. Look, TV sucks because reality is crazier than anything they could write. This stuff, Actually can you imagine? True. This is like an episode of The Office. A tranny's flapping his titties on the lawn next to the president. A senile guy with dementia who's 85 <laughs> yeah. touching kids too. They're like, we're both pedophiles. And then they, they, like that, it, it seems like something you would write on a show, but it, what, Twitter is more fascinating because not only is it happening, but it's wilder and more and funnier than anything else. It is, it's insane, dude. We live in a fucking movie. It's very weird. We need to fight against it, Brad. You Actually, that's not that's not strictly true. The truth is that fiction is more real than reality. All these trends you're seeing always existed. Right? That's the thing. That's the fascinating thing. The fascinating thing is this insanity has always been the case. It's allowing things to get worse. Like that that's the problem. It's um the Overton window. What is allowed to be said? Shifting. We need to keep telling people <sighs> to go to the gym, to get their mind oh, right, bro. to follow God, to do the right thing, to actually be funny, to have good conversations, to be open minded, and to not be a deviant and not find us an escape route in blue hair, ugly, flappy titty nonsense. I listen, man, I go to the fucking gym. I agree with all that. I agree with all that. Do you think you're always open-minded, though? Yeah. Always. 100%. Even when you say gay is no good, man. Gay can't be good, dude. Just I'm like, listen, the pedophile shit? What good no. does it do? I, dude, I don't... It's just, There you go. I can, every, I can say being straight is good because... Yeah, but does everything, need to, does everything need to be good like that? Everything should be good, ideally. Of course In an ideal be. situation, an ideal world, everything would be good. Simple stuff. So being straight is good because you can have kids and you can start a family and you can create more good people. Yeah. Gay people does not produce anything good. It, like, that's just the truth. Like, yes, they... they what, what about a gay family that adopted a bunch of kids and needed a home? That not good? Yeah. You see... Yes, but that doesn't preclude a, no, like a normal family from doing that. 
but that kid's going to grow up weird because it's not going to have the proper family dynamic. It's worse than actually having a, a mother and father. Yeah, I, of uh, course. I'm not going to say that all gay parents are bad, but it's more likely that a straight family is better than a gay family raising a kid. Ah, uh, just man, in all, tough, it, everybody would agree with that. The nuclear family is the best way to produce a happy child. That's just true. Every single scientist, doctor, f philosopher would agree that a nuclear family is the best way to raise a child. Well, having like two daddies is just. I mean, less... I don't know the stats on this shit at all, as far as like family. Actually. We're going to have to stop right there. Nuclear family is also an invention. Um, it used to be extended family, not just nuclear family. Nuclear is an invention to make money. It should be an extended family with parents, grandparents, cousins, and so on in the same community. He's being together, staying together. I think stats are really terrible with like marriages and all this shit anyways because we've yeah. created such a terrible fucking society. But, I mean, there is there is like... I don't know. It's It's hard to get into that sort of conversation about it. Like, I fully agree this whole like... This whole, like, I don't even know where it's gone to this degree of, like, yo, this whole kid shit that everyone keeps talking about. You know, like, Nick Merckx was, like, he said some shit. and he they, said, leave kids alone, and they canceled him. Shout yeah. Out to Nick Merckx. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and uh, you know, Ethan, I saw a clip where he was saying that that was, like, that's a homophobic state. I want to know why. I want to know why. Ethan, if you're watching this, you're going to have to go after me again on your pod. I want to know why it's a homophobic statement. Doesn't that prove where LGBT is going? No, if it's homophobic to say leave kids alone, what does that say about the LGBT? Well, I just want to know. I, someone's got to tell me. I don't got the answers to this. Way. Because they want to touch kids. I, listen. that's the, the, What Lordy do you think the pluses Lordy. in LGBT? But do you think Ethan wants to touch oh, kids, dude? Man. I don't think so. I think, you, I think no, he's on man. the... You know how Biden sniffs girls? No. I mean... I saw that clip. I don't know. Dude, I don't know that it's real. He's is it AI? He, I don't know. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying he wants. I'm saying he gives me sniffy vibes. I don't. I have no idea. But, dude, could, could you tell me why? Because I didn't watch the whole clip. I think he tried to explain why it's why If, it's if it was revealed that he was in a, at a playground with a hoodie, like, yeah. Like, you, Ethan, you you'd be like, you know, yeah. No, he wouldn't do that. Guy's podcasting. All if, if it was a feel like Ethan Klein found in a playground with holding a doll, like if, if you see like a CCTV picture, he's looking at the camera like, Ugh. like I'd be I, like, yeah, you yo, know, yo, yeah. Yo, I figured, yo, <laughs> at least he's honest now. He's no, dude. Listen, I'm not. We're not going there now. Can you see the picture? Like, but now you're attacking the guy, dude. The, I'm not attacking, I, dude. You I'm, are. I'm just I just want to know why that statement is homophobic. Why because they want to touch kids. That's that's what it is. Because they want to get the children. You can't vote till you're 18. You can't drink till you're 21. But you can cut your dick off. And they want to be able to put pride flags in the schools so they can indoctrinate the kids with woke garbage. They want. That's yeah. That that last part is actually correct. That's that is exactly the plan. You you um. You teach the elephant when it's young, because when it gets old, uh, it's not gonna listen to you. It's gonna break whatever you try to force onto it so you gotta get it early that's that's the point of that we i mean we we know this we know this intuitively wanted to it's not about acceptance it's about converting the whole country into a gay mess that's what it is i'm telling you look well, what okay so okay let's so realistically let's say let's say that's exactly what it is right what the fuck is the point? There's no point in that. Because if we're talking about like... There no, there go. is a point. Whoa, but th there's no point. Meaning there's no money in that either in yes, the long there run. there is. Like if you took that to the hundredth millionth degree and you just took it, that idea and made it the reality, 100% the reality, then there's no more kids. Well, exactly. That's exactly the point. You lower the, the fertility so that the oligarchs can control the country. <laughs> that's that's exactly the point. Anyone that agrees, anyone that that falls into the trap doesn't reproduce. And because they don't reproduce, they don't have children. And because they don't have children, there's no... Like, the idea is you want a population of idiots and a population of rulers depopulating the country serves the purpose of bringing in more immigrants who are more likely to listen to the indoctrination out of necessity because they're in an ec uh, a position of economic necessity right you could just if you don't listen to our indoctrination crap we just deport you right and there will be an infinite number of, of migrants that want to leave for economic reasons right so 
That's that's the point. So then they have no more kids to be fucking weird about. You're you're, you're coming in with because you believe in God, right? Yes. You're coming in with the perception like people are good. These people. I'm don't, not even saying good or I'm saying literal I fact. If these people ev- don't want good for society. Okay, but listen, if every single person was we took it out to that was gay, there's no kids. So you know what I'm saying? They, they don't, don't get, think that far. Okay, well, I'm thinking, I t- I'm like, let me take this to the millionth degree. And also it's- part of like the LGBT thing is that they enjoy being deviants. They like disrupting. They like being weird. It's, it's perverted. So if, if everybody was gay, then they would have nothing. Like it would just be pointless. They wouldn't take the same satisfaction. They take satisfaction in doing something that you're not supposed to do. It's, you know why it's hard having these conversations? Because like, I can't say this like is like 100% all of them. Because do you think every single one of them is just like, Oh, I'm a dude and now I'm now I'm a girl and like I want to touch kids. That's not that's not true, dude. There's no way that's true. You know it's what I'm just, saying? It's just deviant acts. It's it's doing what it's doing the opposite of what God intended. That's why a lot of them embrace Satanism. That's why they say like smite a lot of them will like drop antichrist and, and really embrace anti religion because it, that's what it, I, I really think it's something that's demonic and I think a lot of these people are actually possessed. And so they're just doing the opposite okay. of what they are supposed to do. Now we uh, Full crazy. They take satisfaction in being wrong and being like, this is like a penis and a butt. It's like, it doesn't make any sense. You're, it's poopy. You never done anal? It, no, it, no. Completely haram. I know you had ale, bro. Haram, man. Really? Haram. Haram. Oh, I would never man. go there. Haram. But okay. for a girl, like, I understand because like, okay, right? It's, it's right there. It's right across the street. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like, the next door neighbor. I wouldn't go. I, I don't get the put point. Put in it sometimes, maybe. But it's just, it's worse. Like, one is wet and, sub, like, has a purpose. This one is just poopy and, like, oh, anal, anal's. Uh, Two weights. Hold on. Oh, careful how you answer this. I don't think anal, anal's not gay. It's just, like, why? Like, what do you do? It, it, the reason that, okay, here, here's how you compare it. Because anal's one step to gay. The reason that, that, like, people like you enjoy it is, like, this is, like, wrong. Like, she poops out of this. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Not that's, honestly, because it's just, like, variation. That's it. Very, yeah. something that's not right. Not not right, not right. It's not about me. It's like, perversion. It's not me being like, ooh, this isn't right. It's like, I did this for a little bit. Let me try this. And then let me play with this and let's see what happens. And does she like it? There you go. That's I don't think that deep. I'm not like, ooh, I can't do this. I'm gonna do it. It's like, no, I'm gonna fucking do it. Cause I asked her, like, you wanna do this. If you keep trying different things that God did not intend, that's how you end up flapping your titties next Bro, to the Why Biden you got an asshole lawn. if God didn't intend that? What? Why you got an asshole if God didn't intend that? What do you t- I'm fucking with What do you mean? What? You. Bro, I'm oh. fucking used to shit, you idiot. <laughs> I just fell for you it. You dumb man. fucker. You fu- You're the on. one who has poopy penis, man. Poopy Yo, penis Brad, bro. Not right now, dude. Butthole Brad in this bitch, man. <laughs> fucking gross, Yo, bro. Yo, you had to fire back. <laughs> But you had to fire back. Butthole Brad is crazy, bro. You dumb fuck. That was funny, That's man. Disgusting. Holy shit. All right, no more anal talk, bro. You're getting me <laughs> fucking... You're getting me excited over here. Um. So, okay. <laughs> Let's, let's move on from the woke stuff. Let's man. yeah. Let's I, get away from it. Talking who, about trannies nonstop, bro. Who is your who is your like who is like your least favorite uh, left person right now? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> uh, who do you hate the most? The most is probably like Karl Marx. I would say like person who started. All right. Communism. <laughs> okay. No. 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 I mean on the internet. Uh, on the internet. Karl Marx, dude. Least this favorite. Fucking... Okay. This is gonna be a clip, right? This is why you ask questions so that you can get the YouTube short. Where I'm yeah. Like, fuck it, dude. Sneak Oaks. Um. I don't know. I, I don't really. I don't really hold hate in my heart anymore. Wow, that, nice. I don't really hold it in my part. Dude, you grew up, man. I'm so fucking, I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, nine proud months ago, you, you might have got, <laughs> got that clip. Of, but like, even Anything like, no more critical, clip. man. I, I think he's a, I think he is a good person at heart. Um, he, he, bro, how does this guy get so many views on YouTube? It's it's a little low energy, huh? Yeah, like I'm shocked. It's it's the gamer look, people. It, I like, look, I like, I think he has that really dry, sarcastic shit, but I was like, damn, there's a lot so of you. Today I took a poop on my penis. And Bro, I was just uh, shocked. I saw the video about you with like fucking what? Some million? Like one has 10 million, one has like 20, some that's shit. That's crazy. Hey, for a guy who's been on YouTube, I'm, I'm my And name. the title is just like, Sneeko is horrible. Sneeko's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, this guy's fucking lit, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's honestly sick. That's cool. You're like, you popped that. You made that shit pop. Hey, man, I, I, I got, I've got. i been banned on YouTube for, it's been 10 months now. And you're still on that bitch, yeah, because I looked through the months. clips. The irony of being banned and having more clips is not lost on, uh, is not lost on me. And your face is everywhere. Almost a year. I've been streaming on Rumble longer than I've been streaming on YouTube. Isn't that, isn't that wild? I, mean, I was on YouTube for 10 years, but I started streaming in June of last year. So it's been more streaming on Rumble than YouTube. 
So I, I think I've done a, a good job pivoting. But yeah, I think you're right. We are shifting in a new era of the internet where people are going to different websites. Like yeah. even if your band, like short form is taking over. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a pretty polarizing time. But I, I think, yeah, you're, you're right. There, there's so much division that there's, there's no point. Like I could say all these names and I could probably clip farm and say like, you know, Ethan Klein's and blah, blah, blah. And his yeah. and, but it's just like, you know, I think that uh, deep down everybody has so, somewhere, some deep down, everybody has good intentions. I, I really believe that everybody yeah. has a good heart, but a lot of people are. Because I like, just, I'm convinced that people aren't just like, the, the, you know, the guys that are on the side or whatever, they're not waking up being like, I just want to be an asshole and mean to people today. They're, I don't think they're doing that, dude. I also don't think they're like, I'm. I no, her son's just brainwashed. Like, he, th he genuinely, unironically thinks the things that he thinks. He unironically is that stupid. And then, you know, every time I say something to criticize Hassan, his darling has just come out of the woodwork. Ooh, this video is bad. Ooh, you're so stupid. Ooh. And, I, and all I'm thinking is, you guys don't even realize how brainwashed you are. Like, you're incapable of critical thought. Like, the guy just spouts his dumb delusion crap. And you just take it. You just, you genuinely think it's real. You genuinely think that what Hassan is saying is not only the truth, but that Hassan has something to say that's of value. That to, that's incredible to me, that a person could be that gullible, that stupid. But, you know, <laughs> hey, read a book. I want to be fucking deviant and, like, divisive. Like, I don't think so. I think genuinely in their hearts they believe they are Doing on good. Yes. Yes, bro. I really do believe that. Well, let's say the expression, the road to hell is paved with good intentions, right? Yeah. Because I can sit and have conversations with these guys and like, you get energy from someone. It's not like, you can't lie about that in real life. And I never got like, oh, this guy's just a shithead. Yeah. I never got that vibe. Huh. I, same, I don't get it from you. I don't get it from them. Right. Bro, I'm serious, man. Mm. I know you look at me wild right now, but I mean that. Yeah, I can't, I can't, you're just having a heart like the, they were, yeah. Yeah, there are genuinely people who are good people who are just dumb. They don't understand that they're a useful idiot for another person. They don't understand. They, they think, they genuinely, unironically think that not only are they right, but what they think is the only thing that could be right. These guys are like aliens to me, man. You think so? <sighs> Have you ever sat in front of him and had a conversation? No, I mean, uh, I've met, I met KSI a long time ago when I was like 13, 14. Um, and yeah, now he's like, he's, he's all upset about me. He's like sending he paragraphs and stuff. I saw that was a little bit ago, no? No, just recently again. It's just Really? Like, yeah. About what? Uh, cause I just make fun of him because like he just backtracks. So, like he'll say a racial slur and then like have to issue an apology. I just think it's funny that like people like have to read out this stuff cause I said a word. And oh. it's just like, if, I, if we're over the same place, like... Well, what is he saying to you then? He's just like coping. <laughs> he's just like in the DMs, like writing me paragraphs. Like, like why are you saying shit about me? Like, then? you don't know anything about me. I've done, like, you're bringing up my past to hold it up against me. Blah, blah. He's just... Bro, these people like just get so deluded by the internet, man. Yeah, the validation. Of you just... I, I, I think, actually, being disagreeable is a superpower. Because it, it allows people to say stuff to you, and you're just like nope that's bullshit that's crap you're wrong i'm not afraid to to make you upset at what i said or at what i believe like i i think it's a superpower because frankly like if you're not able to be disagreeable in 2024 you're a useful idiot that's what's gonna happen to you of it all i think because yeah, yeah. i got caught up in like trying to just get more and more and more likes and people like you and it's like I could understand, like, even like I said earlier about my story about not involving my personal life, because I was afraid that if I involved too much of it, that it could create division oh, within, yeah. like, people about me. There you go. Yeah. yeah. People hold it against you forever. Yeah, they never they never forget it. No. Never forget, dude. No, we'll no. never forget Never forget 9-11. We'll yeah. never forget That was the 9-11 of my life. I'll never forget that. No. That's my favorite part about you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think you're so lit for talking about that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually insane to me that you got on the internet and just said it. Yeah, I saw you a couple of weeks. Have you still been training boxing? No, but I've been running every fucking day, bro. I literally, I, I do fucking, I do like two miles and I do like sprints. I've been running every day, which is, which is dope for me because 
I'm like literally 260 and it's the, it's the most, I, I, for like the last two months, my cardio is insane right now. My cardio got really good too. I quit drinking, quit all the drugs and stuff. Just uh, I have What drugs were you doing? Um, well, you know, I was doing all, uh, everything. <laughs> everything is by heroin and crack and stuff like that. So, okay, there's not, a lot of a lot. A, there's not a lot of other drugs. Yeah, no, I I, I, I would that, like I wasn't really okay. Like you're you know, doing ketamine and shit, K special K. I've done K before. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I did it. I've done the only thing I was really like addicted to, like that was real for a long time, was weed. I was smoking weed every oh. single day. No, no, but I I was like I you know a little bit of coke, a little you look bit like of like a pothead, low key. Yeah, a little bit of Molly stuff like that, you know, party drugs and stuff. Uh, I, I, like just a weekend thing, or you just like going to an event thing, or just because you know, like on a weekend or something, or, or you know, for, or a Monday, or a Monday, you know, really. Oh my it was never. It was never a habit. Now they're gonna call me a coach. I was. I was never. Never a habit. But like, just one completely. I don't drink. Like that. That's the biggest one. Drinking too. is garbage, bro. For the most yeah, part, that it's was like, the biggest. My cardio is like. I. I actually like running now, which I thought running was gay for a long time too. Like, what? The, the, <laughs> Why thought, did you think it was gay? I, I get it every time, bro. I just wish. I honestly like. <clears throat> you know, as a gym bro, certified gym bro. You know, very long time. Uh, actually, president of the gym bros. Um, the problem is. You were so convinced at one point that you just couldn't do it because, like, you're going to burn too many calories and, like, you're going to get small. Like, that's the mindset. But the thing that I re no, seriously, <laughs> I know, I know that. the thing that I realized, which is true, is that you won't burn enough calories. In fact, you'll just be healthier. Your heart will be stronger. Your pumps will be better because of that. And it will actually make you more hungry to eat more food if you wanted to just get bigger. Because that was the one thing I always dabble with it. I had, like, I had, like, spurts where back in my, like, cardio is fucking lame phase. I would do cardio just because I was like, I should do some cardio because I haven't done it in a while. And then I like, I realized I eat so much more, but I just wasn't getting that cue of like, oh, this is actually helping me get bigger. The thing that I was trying to get, not in my mind, it's going to make me smaller. You know what I'm saying? At the time, mm -hmm. it actually helps you get bigger. You just have to eat more, which for most people, it's going to make you want to eat more. Well, that's why boxes look so good, right? Because they're doing both cardio and strength training at the same time. And it's why warriors traditionally look how they look because of that. So that's, that's why that's, that's the reason why they look the way they do. Any, anyway, it's funny to me that people don't, again, a lot of people, they don't make connections, right? They, cause they don't read, they don't do anything like they've never studied, like, you know, had, um, you know, higher education, or if they did, they had a joke degree that doesn't encourage critical thinking. So you have a lot of trouble making connections. This is why I, I recommend STEM degrees, right? Because it'll make you actually smart. It'll force you to be smart, even if you weren't before. So yeah, I'm not even. Like, I used to be in that like I need to be really big all the time. I'm just training, just training. When boxing. was that? I when I was in high happen. school watching Brad videos on YouTube, I was just Were you like, bigger, actually? Yeah, I, I was at one point, like, I looked like a beefy Asian dude. I was like, I had a big face and stuff like that. I was taking creatine. I even, in high school, I wrote this thing on my wall to remember. I'm like, I, I like, take, remember creatine because I was, like, taking the scoops every day, like, putting it directly in a spoon so I could get the anabolic What's, window. Dude. <laughs> I, I was doing all this. I was doing smoothies with the, the raw egg and the protein powder. You were a real then, gym bro then. I was 100% a real gym bro. I just completely gave up. I, I like training uh, fighting because it's just, that seems like a, a, you know, a waste of time. And then you like Very look at the mirror like my traps are like, and then you go on a date and you're like, oh yeah, she doesn't even know what a rear delt is. So this is a waste of time. Just because she doesn't know what the rear delt is? But what? she know what that bitch looks like. She knows what it feels like. A rear delt? Yeah. She's like, damn, your shoulders are so nice. And then she has her hand back here. So, you know. You could just chalk it up, but she doesn't know what it is. But does she need to know what it is, or she yeah. just know what it feels like? I know. Then you get to the point where you're like looking, you're like flexing and like do, checking your back, and like then you start looking at bodybuilding competitions, and they're oiling each Next other. Next thing up. you know, you're gay. That's what I'm saying. It's all a path, Holy man. Shit. It's just like anal. If you do too, too much bodybuilding, you end up with a dick and a butt. Like you don't want to go down that path. Dude, so I, I think training, fighting is better. I highly dude, recommend. Dude, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, we can go the same route with the fighting. You rolling around with a dude. You're just well, like rolling it, BJJ is. is BJ for men. Like I'd rather, do, yeah, <laughs> I'd rather, rather do striking. Oh my God. So you going to fight anybody? I will see. We'll see. There, there's a couple of people I have in mind. Are they on the left side? No, some of them are actually like on the, on the right side. The, the oh, that's guys. dope. Yeah. I, I don't want it to say some names yet. Um, to, to keep oh, so it. you're like working on this. Yeah. Oh, oh was this interview before the Sean Strickland thing? 
Interesting. Yeah. I think that's the next step to. Uh, everybody should do it, probably. Fight at least once. Yeah. That's yeah. for sure. Everybody should do it. And like, not necessarily on YouTube, but in real life. Like, everybody should fight. just do it. Like, I think people have this misconception that you need to do it on YouTube or that it needs to be monetized, but it's just something you should get into the ring and just like, I might, might not walk out. Who should I fight? Because I would love to do that. I think you should fight. I think I was going to say some blue pill people, but like, I'm not going to, you should fight another bodybuilder. You should fight somebody who's on the, on the same height and weight that you could respectably do it with. I think Mike Rashid could be a good one, but he's actually like, he's, he's a boxer. Yeah. He's a boxer. He actually is a boxer. Who's the other like major gym bro. You should fight Steve. Steve will do it. Yeah. No, dude, that's my boy. I couldn't beat up Steve. I feel bad. Wait, wait, that's, that's not fair. He couldn't win. He could not win. No, absolutely not. He well, him beat me in a fight. I don't even know. Yeah, no, dude. No, not even. No chance. Zero chance. Like negative chance. Okay, who else? Bodybuilding. You should fight Hassan. Possibly. <clears throat> I, get, I don't know, dude. I just want to say Sebum. Okay, because he's like the guy, okay. uh, the OG. Uh, I mean, I don't know who else. Like that's the problem. I could fight Hassan. I was gonna say that. I think that'd be a good one. Because he's he's big. Is he? Yeah, that he's tall as fuck. Yeah. yeah. You never met that guy in person, huh? No. He's bigger than you. He's big, bro. Yeah. I think he might beat the shit out of you. Oh, come key. on, man. Come he's on, big. Man. Hey, don't don't put disrespect on my name, man. Sorry. Yo, sorry. You, you, you tell, yo, dude, he's a big. He's butthole a, Brad been talking a lot of smack yeah, today, bro. He's a big dude. <laughs> yeah. He's he's one of, out of all the other creators that I ever met. He's one of the biggest ones, hundred mm. percent. Yeah. I'm just saying. All right. Okay. Actually, I did on a nice uh, on a nice note. I think this was actually a good interview. Okay, and uh, hit the like, hit the sub, hit all for notifications, drop me a donation. Like Hunter M, Adrian L, Tom and Bobby, Dylan, Renaissance Press, Brian, Andrew, and Allen, shout outs to you. Most recent purchase of Strategist Guide to Deduction. Go buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios Books. Want to watch my videos in batches of three or four instead of one per day? You can. Just go to my Patreon. That's patreon.com slash the Helios blog. And if you want me to give you better advice than Bradley ever could, uh, I do offer coaching services. Just message me at theheliosblog at gmail.com. Thank you so much for listening, guys, especially if you listen to the end. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.